Got him. Super soft bite. That's a good fish. Yep. Yep. That's the one we're looking for. Well, welcome back, everyone. This video is strictly about the brand new ACC ice rod. A lot of people were asking about it. Um, I've seen a couple videos on Facebook of Andy just kind of showing what it is, but I wanted to put it on the ice. And actually, the first thing I need to discuss, people asked, is this ACC 30 inch rod the same sensitivity as a noodle rod? And that is usually the first panfish style rod people use. Fairly parabolic bend to them. This is a Fraybill, I believe it's a 26. 26 inch noodle rod, fairly parabolic bend to them. And these are great for your smaller jigs, uh, you know, 64, 30 second ounce tungsten jigs. Something like those guys right there. Yeah. So those, those rods were designed for that lighter style of jigging and they're great for a sensitive bite. These, these rods are designed so that when you're hanging a, when you're dropping down a, let's say a 30 second ounce tungsten jig, the rod tip actually loads up. And so when a, a crappie specifically has that negative bite, they, they grab the lure and they keep rising in the water column with it. And I got a fish coming up, hold on. These noodle rods are designed for those smaller jigs. The rod tip loads up. As you can see on the screen, those crappie are actually rising up. They're chasing the lure, but they're gonna hit that lure and keep rising in the water column with it. And that's when this rod tip would unload and tell you that you've got a bite. The one thing that they are not meant for or not good at is jigging a lipless crankbait. Uh, they don't really have enough backbone. This is actually a heavier version of what a noodle rod would be. Um, this is probably more of like a light action instead of the ultra light actions. Those ultra light actions are like, you can basically bend it all the way down below the rod handle. Uh, but they're not great at those heavier baits, those spoons, those lipless crankbaits, blade baits, uh, stuff that you probably used for crappie. I love using lipless crankbaits and spoons. So a lot of people would actually combat it with this guy. This is a 30 inch uh, medium heavy fray bill. This is a walleye jigging rod. This can, this is actually probably for your quarter ounce, three eighths ounce, possibly half ounce spoons, blade baits, your bigger walleye setups. But as you can see on the end here, if it's not gonna focus, this is a spring bobber. Now a lot of people equip the spring bobber to a vast, to a variety of rods and it's great because it is super, super sensitive. As you can see here, it is super sensitive at detecting a bite. Oh, we got a crappie coming in hot. So that spring bobber is a great substitute if you have a stiffer rod that's meant for heavier jigging action. The problem with these a lot of times, as you can see, now they make them in different forms, but as you can see, it's a, a big spring coil. And if that gets iced up or snow in it, it's a, it's a pain in the butt to actually get that out. And the line gets stuck when going through there. They actually make a uh, smaller titanium. Um, it's flat with a little kind of loop at the end. It's actually pretty good. A lot of guys use that. So that is the second style of panfish rods. First one was a noodle rod. This was more of a, an adaptation to your heavier jigging rods. And then comes the soft tip or some companies call it a quick tip. Basically it's a combination of your noodle rod setup. They, the, the tip is built like a noodle rod. But as you can see, it's not a true parabolic bend. It's got backbone. And the way the rod is supposed to sit is straight down the hole. So when we set, set the hook on a fish, you're not setting it to the side, um, not like in open water, you're setting it straight up and down. By the way, I get this question all the time. Why do ice anglers hold their rod like this? So when you set the hook, you're fighting the fish like this. And when you set the hook, you set it straight up, which is why raising it like this is a lot easier than trying to go like this with the rod. It's just a lot more ergonomic. It, it's a lot more comfortable holding it in your hand like that. So when you set the hook, because you're setting the hook straight up from the hole. And the main reason for that is when you set it to the side, that line can actually slide on the outside of the hole and potentially fray or cut the line. So you wanna set it straight up, uh, straight up above the hole. And notice how this is bent. You fight the fish straight down the hole. Okay, that's the way a lot of these quick tip 
rod actions are set up. This is a 30 second ounce tungsten. It'll load up the tip. It'll load up that rod tip. And then when a, uh, a crappie or bluegill or something has that negative bite, it'll unload it and you know you have a strike. But these things have enough backbone. I'm using uh, 16 ounce lipless crankbaits right now. I was using some eighth ounce spoons earlier. The max you probably want to go with this is probably a quarter ounce. I feel like quarter ounce is probably pushing it uh, on the uh, on the weight that you should use for this light action rod. I had people ask on the, the Facebook post that Andy had, you know, how this hold up for walleye and pike. Definitely a dead stick rod for walleye. You probably use it as that. You could probably use it on the lighter side uh, for walleye lures, like a eighth ounce spoon or 16th ounce, like these lipless crankbaits I'm using right now. You probably could use it for walleye as well. As far as a pike rod, no, no. Uh, companies mostly make uh, probably six to seven different styles of rods. And this is a light action rod. This is a panfish style rod. We wanted to make a rod you know, when I talked to Andy about making a, just one ice rod, we wanted to make something that you could use a wide variety of lures. We went from that 32nd to 64th ounce jigs to some lipless crankbaits to some spoons, blade bait. So in the comment section on Andy's video on Facebook, somebody commented about the real seat saying that they didn't like it. I understand there's two kind of valid reasons. One's more valid than the other. One reason people don't like the real seat is it tends to add a little bit of weight, maybe an ounce, two ounces at most. Um, not that big a deal. But in the past, a lot of manufacturers would use the open water real seats that sit a 2,000 or a 3,000 size reel, and then they try to match it up. Is this guy gonna get hit, or what's gonna go on here? Is that a big crappie? Oh, here comes another one. Come on, eat it. Got him, got him. I don't think he's that big. It's still fun to watch him on the camera. Oh, buddy, what are you doing, man? Oh, this is not not the size we want, but there are a ton of them down there. And they're super aggressive. This is not even close to the size we want. See you, bud. So they take that open water reel seat and they try to match it up with something like this. This is the PC Fun ICX5. It's a 500 size spinning reel. A lot of people actually, open water fishermen, if you're a dock shooter, the 500 size reel, um, regardless of manufacturer, but the 500 size reel is perfect for that. It's a small spool, shoots off there really nice. The line, spool, the line shoots off there really nice. But the one complaint is that manufacturers would put the larger reel seat and try to pair it up with a 500 size reel, an ice fishing style reel, and there'd be play. And a lot of times, and I, I, I remember this, I had I had ice fishing rods where the reel would actually fall off. If you set the hook too hard, there'd be enough play for that reel to kind of wiggle loose. So, so we wanted to make sure that when we put these rods together and we're gonna put a reel seat on them, that they sit pretty tight. And most manufacturers now have this right, where they sit a, well, they'll, they'll fit a 500 size reel and it'll be snug. There's no play, as you can see on this thing. There's no play to it. It's not moving, it's not coming out. It's not gonna pop out on you. Um, that is one valid complaint that a lot of manufacturers used to get was they put the larger size reel seats on there, but this one fits an ice fishing reel. It sits there tight. There's no play to it. So yep, that is the 30 and a half inch ACC ice rod. You can check it out. I'll leave a link below. I just realized a bunch of people had questions about it, what the action looked like on the rod. It's meant to be to fight fish straight down the hole. It doesn't have that parabolic bend like a lot of noodle rods do because it has a backbone. You can actually jig spoons and lipless crankbaits with it. So, whoa, easy. I want to go ahead and check this out. I'll leave a link in the video description below. I'll leave a link to the entire setup too. You can check out the uh, PC Fun Ice X5s. These are the 500 size reels. These are what I use for ice fishing. I've used these for three years now. They work great. Um, this is a very affordable setup. I think the rod we're selling it, ACC's marketed at $39.99. That's the other thing. A lot of people say, well, you could have gone with uh, a longer rod, all fiberglass. That's true. And maybe we will. You know, this is the first ice rod that ACC makes. Most companies have two kind of panfish rods, one between 28 to 32 inches, and then one between 38, 38 to 40, 42 inches, 45 inches sometimes. 
Um, that's when, that's, those are the two kind of length ranges that most companies have. I would love to see ACC put out that 38 to 40 inch range uh, length on their rods. I think a lot of people would use them. But let me know in the comment section if you already bought one, because I know a bunch of people bought one. Let me know what you think about them, uh, because we wanted to design something that's going to fit your budget, but also give you the most, the widest range of lures to use with just a single panfish rod. That was our goal. I think we did it. Appreciate you watching. If you got any comments or questions, you can post them in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. Yeah, be sure to click that subscribe button, click that bell. I always appreciate that. Let me know if you got one of these ice rods, what you think about them. I, I honestly want to know.